so we use implicit differentiation when we have equations like so say plus y squared equals a squared this is the general equation of a circle now the most important point here is that y is still a function of x so y squared is f of x squared okay now let's start differentiating both sides of these equations so the derivative of x squared is simply 2x plus now here we have the derivative of f of x squared which is 2f of x then using the chain rule we have to differentiate the thing which is inside which is f dash x and what is f dash x it's dy dx and fx is a y so this is a 2 y dy over dx a squared goes to 0 so we have dy over dx being equal to a negative x over y here so that's implicit derivative or the implicit differentiation right so here y is a function of f of x which is implicitly which is said to be implicitly defined by this equation now this is not a function this whole thing is not a function y is a function of x but this is a curve it's a circle it's an equation right a function would be this okay this would be a function this would be a semicircle basically it's derived from this and if you wanted to differentiate this you can do it normal way okay you don't need to apply implicitly but here you need to do it implicitly so that's implicit differentiation let's take another example okay we have x minus y whole squared equals say y minus 1 plus ln x plus y okay we have an equation like this thing that you have to remember is y is still a function of x and then we start to differentiate this we get a 2x minus y here okay and then applying the chain rule I have to differentiate this the derivative of x is 1 the derivative of y is dy by dx which is what we have to find okay that's something that we need to find the, the differential coefficient it's all about him and what is this? This goes to 1 over 2 root y minus 1. And then using the chain rule, now I differentiate this, getting a dy over dx. Okay. The derivative of 1 is 0. And then you add the derivative of log of x plus y, which goes to 1 over x plus y. And then the derivative of x plus y, derivative of x is 1. And y is again dy by dx. Okay you still need to find dy by dx let's see how we do that let's simplify this a bit let's just open the brackets I get a 2 x minus y take away 2 dy dx being equal to dy dx 1 over 2 root y minus 1 comes from there and a 1 over x plus y comes from there then you're left with 1 plus 1 over x plus y okay let's take all the terms having dy over dx on one side okay so this comes here from the RHS and 2 dy dx goes there giving us dy dx being and root 1 over root 2 root 1 over 2 root y minus 1 these two terms and the third from the LHS which is plus 2 so dy over dx is the thing in the LHS and you take this there over this thing in the arches so that's the answer so that's where you use implicit differentiation.